Hi, in this course, I am going to begin from very basics of the course, very basics of the Python language. But don't think that this is a basic level course. This is an advanced course where we are starting from basic level. If you already know Python to some extent, hold on for next three, four lectures, then we will get into serious programming. But uh, first few lectures, just three, four lectures will be very basic level. Once you understand the basics, then we will take, take you to the next advanced level. Okay. So this is definitely not a basic course, it is an advanced course. And uh, first let's see what happens when you type print hello world. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. So here if you observe it, you can see that there is print and then two braces there. Okay. Two braces are there and then before that there is print. This is called a function. This is same in many other languages. If you know C or C++ Java, it is very similar. So a function is always going to be having two braces. Okay, and now it is a built-in function. So in, you know, in this example, I'm just going to print hello world. Let's see that. Now, if we observe it, I'm just calling this function, but I'm not call, but I'm not writing this function which means it is already available in built. So you don't have to write the code for it. Now let's run it and see what happens. So if you run it in the terminal, you can see hello world printed. Okay. So it's a very simple program. Now if you observe something here, this hello world is kept within the quotations, double quotes, right? You can see that double quotes are here and double quotes are here. Hello world is kept within the double quotes. Now, what is the meaning of this? So anything that is present within the double quotes is not a code, is not the programming language code. It is simply a plain text. Now, whenever you put a plain text within this double quotes, it is also called as a string. So this is a string. Hello world here in this case is a string because it is enclosed within the double quotes. Okay. Now let's try to see what happens if you miss one of the double quotes. Okay, now this is the advantage of using an IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. So PyCharm is an IDE. Now the, the advantage of using PyCharm is, or any IDE in general is, it has syntax highlighting. So when you have missed out this uh, quote, double quotes here, you can see the color of the closing brace has changed. It was earlier white, now it has become green. And also if you observe it, there is a squiggly line here. You can see this squiggly line, a red line. Red line highlights or indicates that this is an error. Okay. Now let's try to run it. Anyway, we know that it is an error. We have created it, we introduced it. And uh, it is, we know how to fix it. But still let us see, let's run and see what happens. Now if you observe it, it is showing that it is a syntax error. Syntax error, unterminated, string literal. So there is a string literal which is unterminated. Okay, so you understood it. By reading it, you can understand that there is something, some problem with this string. But in most of the cases, in most of the uh, programs, you will not be able to understand sometimes by reading the error messages. What should you do in that case? You just copy this, copy the syntax error and paste it in Google. Okay, that is that is what all the programmers will do. All the professional programmers, whenever they get they have any doubt, they approach Google. So now if you type it in Google, generally you will get a lot of uh, links, but the most popular link is Stack Overflow, right? So when you click on Stack Overflow, it will actually tell you what type of error it is, how why you got it, and how to correct it. So this is one way you can find, fix the bugs in your program whenever you get syntax error or exceptions or anything. You can approach Google and it will tell you, generally Stack Overflow will tell you what to do because there are many programmers in the world and the error that you got might have been encountered by many programmers earlier and they might have typed the solution in you know Stack Overflow. So you can go to Stack Overflow and you can check why you got the error and you can correct it, okay? Thank you.